The Library of Babel is a short story written by Argentine author Jorge Luis Borges in 1941. The story presents an intricate portrayal of a metaphorical library composed of hexagonal rooms, symbolizing the vast expanse of undiscovered knowledge yet to be explored by sentient beings. Each book in the library consists of precisely formatted 410 pages, utilizing the same set of characters. The narrator, who has spent his entire life within this library, recounts his futile endeavor to absorb all its knowledge and decipher its underlying purpose. Eventually, the narrator comes to accept the impossibility of this task and finds solace in the fleeting nature of his individual existence within the eternal walls of the library. The story serves as an allegorical reflection on the pursuit of leading a meaningful life in a universe that may appear bewildering and chaotic. The narrator initiates the story by providing a detailed description of the library itself. It comprises countless hexagonal rooms, each equipped with bookshelves occupying four walls. The remaining walls contain small recesses for readers to rest and bathe, as well as interconnected corridors linking the various hexagons. Spiral staircases within each hallway facilitate movement between the library rooms above and below. Mirrors adorn every hallway, reminding the narrator of his own ephemeral nature in contrast to the limitless expanse of the library. During his childhood, the narrator embarked on a quest to find a specific book but failed in his search. Now in the twilight of his life, he anticipates his imminent demise. He reveals that upon his death, someone will discover his lifeless body and cast it off one of the library's balconies into the unfathomable abyss. The narrator proceeds to unveil another perplexing aspect of the library. Its texts possess meticulous order but remain practically incomprehensible. Each bookshelf within the library accommodates five shelves, each housing exactly 32 books. In the Library of Babel, each book within its vast expanse consists of precisely 410 pages, with each page containing 40 lines, and each line comprising 80 characters. The alphabet employed in these books comprises 25 unique characters. Interestingly, the titles of the books bear no relevance to their actual content. The narrator contends that the library must have been crafted by a god, as it has existed since time immemorial and possesses no discernible end. Additionally, the narrator argues that the readers of his story, employing a 26-character language, belong to a distinct universe separate from that of the library. Most of the books within the library, even in the language understood by its inhabitants, remain unintelligible. Scholars and researchers who have studied the library have speculated on various theories to explain this phenomenon. Some wonder if the books contain undiscovered languages or are encoded in some manner. Centuries ago, an enlightened individual made a groundbreaking discovery that revolutionized the understanding of the library. This person asserted that no two books within the library are identical, implying that the library encompasses every conceivable expression that can be written using the world's 25-character alphabet, adhering to the parameters of its books. Hence, within the library, there must exist texts that are not only intelligible, but also profound and enlightening following this revelation. The inhabitants of the library embarked on a quest to uncover texts that would reveal profound truths about their world. Many dedicated their lives to searching for these texts, seeking definitive descriptions of their individual life paths, their vindications. Yet, all such endeavors ended in failure, leading some to descend into violence or madness. Other readers, known as the Inquisitors, dedicated centuries to finding a book that would finally illuminate the origins and purpose of the library. Regrettably, their tireless efforts proved fruitless, and over time, the readers relinquished the pursuit, realizing the sheer vastness of the library rendered their mission impossible. After the era of the Inquisitors, a sense of disillusionment settled over the inhabitants of the library. Many came to believe that they would never stumble upon anything of true significance. Some jokingly suggested that they might have better luck generating meaningful texts by randomly rolling dice. Another philosophical group emerged, known as the Purifiers, who advocated for progressively destroying books they deemed meaningless, in the hope of increasing their chances of finding valuable ones. They did succeed in destroying a considerable number of volumes, but their impact was minuscule compared to the immense size of the library. The narrator shares a library myth about a legendary figure called the Bookman, who purportedly discovered the book that explained the library's existence. The narrator, like others, holds on to the hope that this tale might be true. 
However, the narrator rejects the theories put forth by the library's three main philosophical camps. According to the narrator, no book within the library is truly meaningless, as the instructions for understanding even the most seemingly incomprehensible text can surely be found in another book. The narrator even questions whether the inhabitants of the library truly grasp the intricacies of their own language in the present day of the narrator's account. The inhabitants of the library are dwindling in numbers. Nevertheless, the narrator is certain that the library will endure, even after there is no one left to explore its vast expanse. Furthermore, the narrator posits that the universe itself possesses an inherent order. In the narrator's belief, any individual who traverses the universe in a straight line will eventually return to the same books, implying a hidden harmony underlying the apparent disorder. A thinker named Letizia Alvarez de Toledo shares a similar perspective, viewing the library as a volume in its own right, with infinite pages that can be recursively divided into two. These philosophical contemplations provide the narrator with a glimmer of hope, suggesting that the universe holds profound and transcendent meaning. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.